The checklist feature in D2L is a convenient way to organize and display all your class assignments, as well as their associated due dates, within your D2L course site. Using the checklist feature allows your students to see upcoming readings or assignments all in one place and provides them a way to keep track of their progress. A link to the checklist can be placed anywhere, such as from within the content area, discussion forums, or the main course announcements area. Or the checklist link can be added to the standard D2L navigation bar. When students click on the checklist link, they'll see a list of assignments, organized by category, along with any due dates that you specified. Overdue assignments are shown in red. As students complete assignments, they can mark the checkbox next to the items. Students save their progress so that when they return to the checklist in the future, they know which assignments are still outstanding. To create a checklist, click Checklist in the main navigation. If checklist doesn't appear as a link, add it to the navigation bar first. Press the New Checklist button. Give your checklist a descriptive name that students will recognize. Check the box if you'd like the checklist to open in a new window, and then press Save. You can create categories for assignments by pressing the New Category button. Enter a category name, and then press Save and New to continue creating other categories, or press Save when finished. To enter assignments, press New Item. Choose the category where the assignment belongs and type the assignment name. If there is a due date that you'd like to associate with this assignment, enter it under Due Date. Press Save and New to continue adding assignments, or press Save when finished. There is also an option to add a description to an item in the checklist, or even to provide a link to a document that has more details on the assignment. In order to see how the checklist will appear to students, choose Preview a New Window from the drop-down menu next to the checklist you created. If at any point you need to edit your checklist, including adding new categories or items, click on the checklist name in the main checklist area.